Hey guys, we're gonna I'm back with another Call of Duty mobile video. I'm sorry I've been a bit absent from the channel. I've been on vacation and I just got back late last night. I've been trying to catch up with everything. And Call of Duty Mobile has gone a huge, huge update, guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about everything that's new in this update. Everything from the main things in the patch notes to stuff that wasn't in the patch notes, which is huge. I think you guys want to hear about. So stay tuned for the whole video. Grab some popcorn and let's get to it. So I know I'm going to be getting this question a lot. Just so much, man. Asking what VPN do I use? So previously in the previous update, um, there were certain options to use VPN to play the game. But now those VPN options don't seem to work. Um, so I recently found one that works for me, uh, on Canada servers, and that is, uh, an app called OpenVPN. So it should work on both Android and iOS, um, and I'm getting about average, like, 70 ping, which is average what I got last, um, update. So, regardless, guys, try, check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description, uh, for the links for it if you guys want to check it out. And, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright guys, so now we're getting into the big stuff. Uh, I'm going to try my best to kind of word all this in the best way I can. I listed it all and we're, I'm just I'm, I'm going to try my best. We'll just say that. So number one thing you're gonna, you guys are going to notice are the graphics. The graphics have been improved by a long shot. A ton, a ton, a ton. So they did optimization, something in the code or whatever it may be. They did something to make the weapon models, the character models, the maps just look so much better, especially on the iPad Pro that I have. It looks gorgeous. It looks, I want to say at least twice, twice as good as it was previously. So keep that in mind. So they actually added a brand new map called Takeoff. This map was originally in Black Ops 1 and then remastered for Black Ops 2. So it's nice that's coming back into this game and uh, they said it's available in TDM, Domination, SMD, Hardpoint, and Free For All. So very, very nice. Uh, the other thing they added was Gun Game. So I get asked this a ton if, if I thought Gun Game was going to return and I said yes because literally every Call of Duty has Gun Game. It's sort of like a norm. So it is right now in the game. I've tried it out. It's pretty cool. Um, it has a 200 score limit with 10 points per kill. So it's about a 20 kill game. Um, about the same as a free-for-all match, so very nice addition. The other thing is that they added new ranks to the rank system. So if you go ahead and go to rank, you can actually see that in Rookie and Veteran, uh, in Elite, they all have five tiers now instead of, I think, uh, Rookie and Veteran used to have, I think, just four, and then the others would have five, I believe. So they made it kind of spread out more to kind of even it all out. Now... This one is a massive, massive overhaul, and I'm probably not going to, you know, talk about every tiny thing. Um, of course, the entire list I have here, guys, will be in the description, but uh, yeah, Battle Royale, massive, massive, massive overhaul, and that is not an understatement. So, they improved the graphics, they massively improved the optimization. This thing runs 60 FPS, no problem. Vehicles now don't go to like 30 FPS when you drive them. Um, they did lots of fixes. They've improved uh, animations. They've added, um, they've added three new map visuals. So they've added uh, a realistic option, a Black Ops option, and a Modern Warfare option. So very interesting. It's kind of like in the style like Black Ops is more vibrant while Modern Warfare is more kind of dark and gritty. Um, so that's really cool. There are now private matches in Battle Royale. So that's really cool. Uh, there is also a ranked system, so if you go ahead and go to ranked, it's actually right here. So they have brand new medals um, with rewards that are not too bad. Um, you get backpacks, XP cards, um, different uh, skins for like your glider, your parachutes, and lastly for legendary, you get an avatar frame, which is very nice. So there's that. Um, they've added the AK-117, RPD, and MSMC into the battle royale um there's now a brand new vehicle called the antelope 820 which has a minigun up top really really cool um they've added zip lines so you can now just tap the button that appears on the screen next to a zip line it'll kind of shoot you up so you can go on top of like a mountain or something really fast um they've improved weapon handling they reduced the flight altitude of the helicopter they've done some class balances like it's it's a ton it's a ton but honestly like, kudos to them, guys. They did massive, massive rework on that. So, thank you for that. So, 
The other big thing that they changed to reworked is the control system. So, if you guys have noticed, when you update the game, your HUD has been reset, which kind of sucks, but it's for a good reason. They made it a ton, a ton better. So, if you go to settings now, in basic, you're actually able to make the ADS button a tap and hold now. Instead of just tap, you can make it tap or hybrid, which is very nice. So, a lot of people have been asking for that. Um, there's also an ability to hide buttons. So if you go here and go to custom layout, you can actually tap on a button you don't want to show on screen anymore. And then on the top, it'll say hide button. So very cool, nice addition. Uh, the FOV for some reason has been reduced to 75. I think at the most it was, was a hundred. Uh, last up, so now it's 75. Um, uh, there's now an option for a fixed joystick. So no more kind of dynamic, just wherever your finger is, it's going to be like, it's going to stay there. Very, very nice. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about the sensitivity and I've noticed this too. They've refined it a bit more, tweaked it. So you guys are probably going to notice that the sensitivity might seem a bit higher. So I had actually had to lower my sensitivity uh, or more or less just my ADS sensitivity, just a tad bit lower to kind of really fit what I needed, but it's a lot, a lot smoother. Um, and then a major thing guys, a major thing that has been bumming me out so, so much on the iPad Pro and that is that that's been fixed. Buttons are no longer pixelated when you size them up. So when you increase the size, they will no longer be pixelated. They are crisp. They are clean. They look so, so nice on a retina display. Just saying. So the other thing that they've done is some weapon balancing. So they've increased the damage and penetration of the Arctic 50. So that sniper is can now one shot basically um they've increased the area of damage of the dlq 33 so there you go guys for those who wanted a that sniper being buffed uh they've increased the firing range of the m16 which is pretty nice uh, i haven't given that a try but i will say the m16 did suck before um they reduced the accuracy of smgs in hip fire now this may not seem like a big deal but smgs are actually garbage now hip firing it's it's incredible the pw used to be a laser and now you really have to aim down sight like 95 percent of the time you're gonna have to if you want to hit your shots because the bullets go freaking everywhere man um they've also reduced the trigger range of the trip mines thank god i still feel like they need a nerf where they shouldn't be able to be thrown i feel like you should just be able to place it down um but that's just me uh, they've also reduced the firing range of the sentry gun, which is welcomed because the sentry gun was ridiculously OP. Now, the next few things, or many things, are kind of small things, but definitely noted. Um, so you guys should kind of keep noticed. Um, so the domination flags and domination now look much cleaner. So you now see, um, instead of like if an enemy's on the flag, you just see it kind of blinking that they're taking it. Now on the top, you'll see like how much they're taking it um, at exactly at what time so it's very very nice much cleaner definitely like black ops 2 um there are now supply drops in the game now i'm gonna say something man because honestly they're not too bad so you can get supply drops just from playing so you can get them from daily logins um as well as events but the premium or the platinum i guess is what they call it weapon crate is you have to use cod points but it's it's honestly not that bad in my opinion. So they have some brand new skins here, which looks freaking awesome. They have the M4 black gold, which looks awesome. They have the Arctic 50 black gold, which also looks awesome. Now I'll say this, guys. I'm really happy that they made the epic weapons not just like a cool skin, but also like like this doesn't even look like the M4. It looks completely different. So it's a completely different like weapon model. It still has the same stats and everything. Um which is nice, except the M4, it says it does increase weapons firing range. I don't know by how much, but there you go. Uh, they've also added um, some previous weapon skins that we've seen before, backpacks, um, and COD credits as well. Now, all this is really nice, but what percent chance am I going to need to get this weapon, an epic weapon? So if you go here, it is a 0.8% chance to get an epic, a 40% to get a rare, and a 59% to get uncommon. Now... I'm going to say this in my personal opinion, that's not too bad. Now, I'm saying that because in most mobile games that have supply drops, I want to say like PUBG or like Cyber Hunter, if you look at those supply drops, it's like a 0.07% to get like an epic or legendary or whatever. It's insane. So a 0.8, about a 
not too bad. I've already seen uh, a few people already gotten the epic weapons. I think some person told me they opened like uh, 10 and got it. Some person opened like 30 and got one. So, in general, not too bad. It is a bit pricey, but not too bad. The other thing that you guys will probably notice is that the game has brand new UIs basically everywhere. Like, once you're in a game, uh, the choosing your class is completely different. It's more spaced out. You can see exactly what you have in that class. If you go to the main menu, go to loadout, it looks just much, much, much cleaner. Um, you can see all the, like, the little hazard icons are kind of just what is new, and you can kind of check it out, which is very nice. Overall, it just looks like a much, much cleaner experience. Uh, so, I, I personally like it. Now, on top of the new UI, what's interesting is that they've changed two of the perk names. So, Scavenger is now Vulture, for whatever reason. I'm not sure why they changed it, but I guess to fit with the icon, because it is a Vulture. The other one is Six Sense. So, this used to be Six Sense, but now it's Alert. So, I'm not sure why they changed that, but uh, there you go. Now, they did do some audio tweaks. I have heard that the audio is a lot better, like, depending on what area you're in, like if you're in a building or outside or anything like that. Uh, I have noticed that outside, it is it is, it is, is very noticeable when you hear people, like, shooting around you. Um, on top of that, they did change some of the weapon sounds. So these are the ones that I've noticed so far. So the ASM-10, the AK-47, the AK-74U, the Death Machine Specialist, the J-358 Revolver, and the RPD all have different sounds. Um, I think they sound better. The RPD kind of sounds a little bit weird, but other than that, I think all that is a pretty welcome change. The other thing that's been fixed is the stat page, man. Thank God. So now when you go to your stats, it will work 100% of the time. No bugs, nothing. Very, very cool. So you can check exactly um, your achievements, your medals without any problems. So very, very nice. Another thing that they've added, which is a much, much welcome change, which you guys will see in this gameplay, is final kill cams. So very, very cool that they added that. I think they also tweaked sort of the spectator mode and kind of the kill cam uh, aspect now. So it's now, I think, much cleaner, much more reliable. Um, but you guys will just have to see that. So another thing is that once you update the game, there are actually two brand new events so one is called the cashback event so this is just by purchasing cod points you kind of level up in this event um now i bought i think the 25 dollars one and that was it and it took me all the way to there so there you go so once you get past 400 cod currents you get the spray if you get past 800 you get this nice backpack and then if you hit 4000 you get this really really cool knife so knowing that they're adding like all these or, I mean, this specific, like, really cool knife, which looks completely different the, than the original. I'm assuming that they're going to put some, like, crazy ones, like axes and all that stuff. Um, just purely cosmetic. Uh, and then the other the other one that I don't think I can show you at the moment, because I already did it, is if you buy any COD points, it doesn't matter how many you get. If you buy, like, the, the least amount, like the $1 one, you will get this awesome skin right here, which is the HD40 Electric. So... It's not animated, unfortunately, but it does look really cool. And the iron sight has like that blue kind of cayenne accent, which is very cool. So I definitely got that just by spending 25. But again, you don't have to. You can just spend a dollar and it'll work. Now, an awesome, awesome change is with all this optimization and everything that they've added in this update, I have been getting word that a lot of people on older devices or on more devices are now getting that 60 FPS spot, which is very nice. I know Call of Duty devs really focus on Call of Duty being a 60 FPS game. That's what they kind of strive for. So it's very nice that Tencent is really trying to go for that as well. The other thing I noticed is that you no longer have Tank Dempsey voicing, like being the announcer for multiplayer. So it is now a different guy. It is much quieter <laughs> and I think much more tactical and just it's, it's better. Let's just say that. So some more UI things is that they have made the crossers uh, skinnier and just a lot cleaner. Um, they've also changed the teammate death icon. So instead of kind of like this big red helmet with like a slash in the middle, it is now a darkened kind of more subtle icon, um, which is very nice. Uh, they've also added major and minor assists. So what this is, is if you, uh, put some bullets on a guy and you only take like a quarter of his health and a teammate kills that guy, you're going to get a minor assist. But if you basically almost kill the guy 
but then your teammate gets like the last shot on him, you'll get a major assist. So interesting how they did that. You guys kind of have more, yeah, team tactical aspect to it. So what's really cool is before we only got COD credits from the battle pass. Now we get it from daily logins, events, and what's cool is we have now a use for them. So COD credits are the, the credits you get just from playing the game. And what's really cool is you can go here to the COD credit section. Instead of just being the two black gold weapons, you can now actually get other skins and XP cards from here, you know, without having to actually spend COD points, which is very cool. An interesting thing I've also noticed is that in the weapon XP card section, there is now a new card called the rename card. So for 250 COD points, you can change your name and it can be changed every three days. So if you don't like your name, here you go, you can change it. I think it's a very cool idea, honestly. So another welcome change is that this game is soft launched in Canada, Australia, and now Peru. But what's interesting is that before, uh, I personally could not buy any COD points because I don't live in Canada and I had to download this game from the Canada App Store. And so it would not let me use my debit card to actually buy COD points unless I went on a site and I bought a Canada App Store card and then I put that card on the account and it worked. Now you don't have to do any of that. Now, once you download the game, I, like my account is back in the US um, on the App Store and I can buy COD points with ease. So if I go to COD points, it'll actually show the correct number for the US dollars and I can buy without having to get all that hassle with the Canada App Store cards and all that. Now, the last bit of info guys are bug fixes. Now, these are big things, don't get me wrong. These aren't kind of like small things. These are things that really, really affect the game. So one is they fixed the bug related to 3D touch. Uh, I'm not too sure on that. I've never used 3D touch, but that's nice. Um, they fixed the bug that affected aiming down scope. I don't think that's entirely fixed because my friend Crosby was playing and whenever he aimed down scope, sometimes it would be off center. So I think that might be a new bug. Um, they fixed gyroscope jittering. So for those who use uh, gyroscope, very nice. Uh, they fixed bugs affecting the trip mine triggering. So I'm guessing that I can't kill you across the map anymore, hopefully. Uh, blast vest now should work correctly and reduce explosive damage. Uh, and these two things, man, these last two bug fixes are a miracle. I'm telling you right now. Fast mags bug is now fixed. So now that if you have fast mags on your gun, you will 100% of the time reload faster. What happened before was that if you had fast mags on the AK, for instance, and you shot, it would reload super quick. But then if you shot again, sometimes it would reload normally as if you didn't have fast mags. So now that's fixed, thank God. Now, the last thing, man. Last but not, not, not the worst, man. It's, it's amazing. This is an amazing fix. I'm so happy they fixed it. After reloading, the shooting delay bug is now fixed. Essentially, what this means is when, when you finish reloading, as soon as you finish that animation and you hold the fire button, before, there would be like a half second delay before you can shoot. Now that it's been removed, you can, as soon as you finish reloading, you can just shoot right away. And what's interesting with this is you can actually cancel your reload now. So if you're reloading and in the middle of it, you hold the fire button, you will actually cancel out of it and start firing um, with the remaining bullets you had in that clip. So very nice. So guys, that's basically all that I've noticed, all that I've gathered from Twitter, Discord, all that. Um, huge, huge update. Let me know guys what's your favorite kind of thing in this update. Um, I probably missed a couple things. It's just a lot going on. But basically, this game has been revamped. The gameplay feels a lot smoother. It feels it feels honestly very strange. Because before, it was nice. But now, it's like really nice. So, anyways, guys. I'm going to have some, you know, live gameplay for you guys in the next couple of days. But without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.